Good afternoon, Grand Rapids. Happy Saturday. Um, unlike last Saturday, uh, the sun is shining. For all of you little Grand Rapidians out there, I hope you had a really good week. Uh, you probably heard from your parents that we are going to stay home and stay safe for a few more weeks now. So as long as we're doing that, I'll continue to join you on Saturdays to read just a couple books. I hope that you are taking this time uh, to read. I know when I was your age, I read a lot. I loved reading. I still love reading. Uh, I also did other things like journal and write poetry and do crossword puzzles. And uh, I'm from a big family, so my brothers and I, we used to play chess together and lots of fun games. So hopefully you are finding time to do all of those things. So today I have two books and both of these were requ requests that I got over the last couple weeks as I've been reading. Um, we're going to read two books today. I think I'll start with the Dr. Zeus book, which is always one of the favorites. Um, oh, the places you'll go. And then we'll end uh, with a book about filling up your bucket. And this is a book and follow up to the book that I read last week that talks about how do we make sure that we not only have a full bucket ourselves, but we fill up other people's buckets. So hopefully you've been doing that this week, filling up lots of other people's buckets with goodness and love and kindness because uh, we all need a whole lot of that right now. So we'll get started with this one. Um, Cooper's with us again today. Uh, if you didn't know this, today is National Pet Day. So if you have a pet, make sure you're giving them a little bit of extra love. Uh, I'm so grateful, especially during these times, to have my sweet Cooper with me uh, to give me lots of love and comfort and to remind me to get outside and take walks. In fact, after I'm done reading these books, I'm going to get on my coat and take him for a nice little walk around my neighborhood. So that's another wonderful thing to do while we are all staying inside and staying safe and also staying healthy. All right, so the first book, you may have read this one before. It's called, Oh, the Places You'll Go by our beloved Dr. Zeus. All right. I love Dr. Zeus. All right, let's get started. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. Guy or girl. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. He's like, I don't want to go over there. It's opener there in the wide open air. Look how wide and open that is. Are there things? Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't sue. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Look at all the elephants. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. Oh, do you like heights? Yeah, riding in the balloon all the way up to the castle. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you 
won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fight on, and you'll be left in a lurch. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. Oh, and when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. On slumping yourself, it's not easily done. No, it's not, is it? Sometimes when we're in a slump, it's hard to get out, isn't it? Let's see what happens next. Oh, you will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out or do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simply it's not. I'm afraid you will find. For a, for a mind maker upper, to make up his mind. Sometimes it's hard to make up our minds, isn't it? Yeah, especially when we're in a slump. Oh, you can get so confused that you'll start into rips down long wiggled roads at a breakneck pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place. The waiting place. Yes, the waiting place. For people just waiting. Waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no are waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Oh, they're waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to wait, isn't it? Yeah, you gotta be really patient to find something to do. Oh, no waiting, that is not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With a banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Lots of fun things. Except when you don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games that you can't win, because you'll play against you. There's lots of games we can play by ourselves, aren't there? All alone, 
whether you like it or not. Alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you won't want to go on. Yeah. Have you ever been scared so much like that? Yeah, when I was little, sometimes I would get scared. That's when I would look for my siblings and my parents to come for me. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hank and cross howl. Look at all these howlers. Onward up many a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. Looking in the boat. Looks kind of brave to me. Yeah. Even though he's scared, he's going on. Sure, I'm not missing a page. Oh. There. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems whatever they are. Yeah, sometimes problems can look scary like that, can't they? No, it's important that we face up to them. And you'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot from your left. Pages are sticking together. Don't want to miss any of them. Oh, and you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you will move mountains. So, be your name Box Bomb or Bigsby or Bray or Mordecai Ally Van Allen Ocean. You are off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Ah, oh, the end. One of my favorite books. Yeah, lots of places you can go. You know what, even when you are home and staying safe, you can still find fun things and use your imagination and go to a lot of fun places. You can draw those out, you can imagine them, you can write them down. Lots of great places you will go. Yeah. All right. We ready for the next book? One more. Let's see. So this one is a follow-up one from our book from last week. So last week we read a book about filling up your bucket. We talked about how we all have buckets. And it's important. Here, let me show you the cover of it. Yeah. So this is How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? And look, it has a little puppy with them. It's kind of perfect because we have Mr. Cooper with us today, too, although he looks like he's falling asleep on us. That's okay. Dogs like to sleep. You might like to sleep, too. Sometimes kids take naps during the day, and that's really healthy for you. Sometimes adults take naps, too. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. I love when I see two little kids playing. Felix was putting one of his last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said to Felix. And what did Felix say? Er, go away, you're too little. Do you have a little brother and sister? Yeah, sometimes we don't want to play with them, but sometimes we do. So I have three little brothers. They're not so little anymore. Uh, they're actually all taller than me. But when I was younger, I often call them my little brothers. I'm 
big, she said. Stay back or you'll knock it over, said Philip. Felix. I can be very careful, his little sister said. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Oh, no. Look at Anna sad. Yeah. Oh, and after she got sad, she got mad. And then look what she did. She took her doll and she knocked down his blocks. Yeah, so sometimes when we get mad, we might want to lash out like that, but it's not very nice, is it? Grandpa, yelled Felix. Uh-oh, Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket, and when it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible buckets? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandpa was joking. He looks pretty skeptical, doesn't he? But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating over his head. See his bucket? Even his little puppy's looking at his bucket. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. See, she's trying to do Anna's hair. Yeah. And there's Felix trying to get cereal. See his little bucket? Oh, looks like looks like his dog is hungry too. Yeah. Felix slipped and the cocoa wheat scattered all across the floor. Felix yelled his mom, you should have used the stool. Oh, Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drops started to spill out. Drip, drip, drip. See them? Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoes. Drip, drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, said his mom. Oh, with the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa weeds and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, uh oh, I wonder what happened to his muffin. <gasps> oh no! His dog jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Ugh! Oh, more drips from his bucket. And then on the school bus, hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Oh no. Those kids on the school bus are not very nice, are they? They're teasing him. And look what's coming out of his bucket. More drips. Felix. Looks like these kids are whispering about him. And look, that's making him even sadder. Watch out, shrimp. And that's another boy at school not being very nice, at, nice to Mr. Felix. More drips. Yeah. When people aren't nice to us, it makes us feel terrible, doesn't it? So you can maybe imagine having a bucket. And every time somebody does something that's not nice, the drips come out of the bucket. Yeah. Oh, it was still morning, and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. Oh, look at that scowl on his face. He must have been so sad. Yeah, and sometimes when we're sad, it comes out as anger, doesn't it? Oh, as he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. Oh, oh, that's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Yeah, sometimes you wish bad things on other people because you feel so bad yourself. Oh, Felix slumped in his seat and he waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. And he could barely even bear to look at it. Felix, she said, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? <gasps> Felix was surprised, wasn't he? 
He grinned and he felt a big drop land right in his bucket. See that big drop? Right in his bucket. And Felix started telling his story about a big dinosaur. Drop, drop, plop, plop. See all these drips going in his bucket? The class grew quiet and they laughed at all the right places and they ooed at the scary parts. When Felix was finally done, he said, the end. And you know what happened? Everybody clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually even like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Yeah, sometimes we can start off having a bad day, and then it gets better throughout the day. And usually that, when that happens, it's because people comfort us and help us feel a little bit better. Lots of drops. Look at that. Drop, drop. He had a nice little note from his mom in his lunchbox. And then he went outside. And team captains today are Veronica and Felix. So he was named as a captain. Look how proud he is. Yeah, and then in art class, his art teacher told him, nice, nice job. He was drawing a cow, although it's a dog. Well, nice colors, the teacher said. Cool laser ant backpacks. Look at, so now this little girl's being nice to him about his backpack. And look what's happening to his bucket. Lots of drips. So his bucket is getting filled back up after it was almost empty. Oh, by afternoon, Felix's bucket was almost full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everybody else had a bucket, too. See, and look, you can start to see other kids' buckets. Let me help you, Felix said, and he saw that his teacher got a drop in his bucket. Here's your baseball catch. Thanks, dude. And look it, because he was being nice to the other kids. He was filling up their buckets. Hi, I'm Felix. Is this your first day? Yes, said the little boy who's sitting next to him. Look at it. His bucket was almost empty and now it has a drop in it. <gasps> the strange thing that Felix found was that for every drop that he helped put in somebody else's bucket, he felt another drop in his bucket. Remember what we said last week? If you were with me last week, is that as we fill up other people's buckets, it makes us feel good, doesn't it? Oh, when Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, Grandpa, Grandpa, you were right. I do have a bucket, and now I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Uh-oh, bad dog. Oh, look at what Buster did to Anna's doll. But then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom can fix her later, even though Anna's crying. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? What do you think Anna said? And so they did. And look at them. They both have full buckets now. Yeah. The end. Another good story about how important it is that we are kind to one another that we fill up each other's buckets. Not only that we fill up others, but we know that that will help us feel good too. So I hope that you will continue to stay home and stay safe and that you will find lots of things to do to fill up your own bucket and that you also take some time to fill up other people's buckets too. So until next uh, Saturday, I'll come back and join you for another story time. Stay safe and enjoy this time with your family.